It's Venom time. Hello everyone and welcome to my very late review of the movie Venom. Now, if you are a fan of my work or if you've just been curious where I've been, you're probably asking to yourself, Jolt, why have you just been gone for two months and just uploaded these weird and worst animations in human history? Well, you're about to find out. I've been taking care of today's guest, in fact, for a very long time and I wanted her to be completely excited for this. So, without further ado, let me introduce you to today's guest that's gonna help me do this review. Please welcome Vendetta! Um, ben... Vendetta? Here I am! Jeez, don't do that! What? <laughs> Did I scare you? Ah, you so easily scared. I get you every time. <laughs> No, but you might have scared them. Oh! May I use you on? Hello everyone! I'm Vendetta! I'm a symbiote as you can see, and I'm attached to a fat loser. <laughs> Vendetta? Okay, that's your intro at least. You wanted me to help with this video, didn't you? Yes, I did! By the way, I'm just gonna say this. The reason for his no uploads isn't really because of me. No, 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 not at all. He's just lazy. And he has no true fans either. <laughs> v. What? It's the truth, though. I know it hurts. Yeah, doesn't it? Parasite. Apologize. Okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right? On to the review. Get ready. This is gonna be funny and weird. You'll see. Ever since I was a kid and I saw Spider-Man for the first time, I always wanted to see, like, you know, a standalone Venom movie, right? Because it was pretty cool, don't get me wrong, in the first Spider-Man movie, even though he didn't have the looks up to date. But he was redeemable for the time, but it would have been interesting to see him in a more, you know, comic accurate sort of style to him. So, here we are in 2018, we have a Venom movie, and it's a fun ride, it really is. Although, not a complete masterpiece, although Vendetta would, be, <laughs> would definitely disagree with that, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's just a movie you can sit down and enjoy. I mean, you won't be harmed or miss out on anything in particular if you don't or do see it. But it's just a movie that you can watch and have some fun with, alright? But let's go on to the review already. The cast. I love Tom Hardy as an actor, he was really good as Bane, for instance, in The Dark Knight Rises, he was really good in Dunkirk, and he was amazing as Mad Max, but his performance here, I was pretty skeptical at first when I first saw it, like, or even heard it, that he was going to be Eddie Brock, so I wouldn't be the most excited guy for him, but he actually laid down the role pretty good, he had a humor and he had some charm into him, um, although his performance wasn't really that Oscar worthy. No. Give the Oscar to Tom for his voice and performance as Venom, bro! <laughs> Riz Ahmed played a very well, not cardboard uh, acted um, villain, I would say. Like, you know his goal, you know what he's doing and why he's doing it. And he also tries to hide away all the secrets that's going on at the Live Foundation. It, it works. In fact, Michelle, Jenny, all of them played a role really good. Though, Tom Hardy steals the show. <laughs> now he's right. The story. The story exists in the movie and you can actually see it being there. They do show like the bonding between Eddie and Venom that we could have seen more. I think Venom and Eddie actually do have a pretty good bonding in the movie. Well, they certainly work better than Eddie and his girlfriend. Yeah, it sucks for Eddie that he gets kicked out onto the street after the whole incident where he realized what happens at the Life Foundation and then his girlfriend, you know, he kicks him out and doesn't want to see him anymore. I mean, it pretty much sucks and he has to get his own place and all that. You know what would be perfect? If you got your own apartment. Well, that has 
<laughs> nothing to do with a review, but um, the problem there, Vendera, is that you would still be attached to me, wouldn't you? You're right. Darn it. Nah, who am I kidding? I don't want us to go different ways. <laughs> of course not. Who would you be without me, huh? Eh? Well, smarter and cooler. But what would you be without me? A loser. And I don't want that. I want you to be my loser. Thanks, V. I tell you this. Mark here is not the best looking one to live with. But he sure can't be funny either. <laughs> so we see Eddie go for his breakup. You have him moving to a different place and he's living poorly. He doesn't have a job. These neighbors are dicks and they're really annoying him and like he's just getting really frustrated and one day he gets into the Life Foundation and he discovers the truth of what's happening there and there we get to see him meet for the first time the wisecracking and bone trailing, teeth grinning and smiling and beautiful symbiote. Did I really say symbiote? I mean symbiote. I'm sorry, no offense. But who do we get to see the vendetta? <laughs> That's right. Eddie becomes sick and starts to eat garbage and even vomits into the toilet. And we basically get to see him go through the whole pain of having a second voice always speaking to him in a mysterious way. And we get to see their bonding together. Why, God? Yeah, sort of, although the minus the first part. Oh, come on. You did get sick and hallucinated. <laughs> That was just side effects. Big words coming from someone who can't even have a beer without going knocked out drunk from it. Pathetic. <laughs> okay, so back to the story. So Eddie and Venom bond together and it makes us laugh and actually like them being together. They sort of had their way of going and actually makes a pretty good team. But later on we learn that there's another symbiote named Riot. And he wants to take this kind down to Earth and destroy us all. And he also separates from Venom, and we get references from the comics. Like Venom takes over a dog, and we get a reference to she and Venom even. Yep, weird, isn't it? Huh? What's weird? How does Symbiote actually get the appropriate voices? You know, Annie and Venom, it's a female voice. Eddie and Venom is a f male voice, you know? How come you are being a female? Problem with what I identify as? No, 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 no not at all. I was just curious. It could also be because you are a bit of a wimp. But that's a fear for another day. <laughs> but anyway, Andy and Venom bonds together and we actually get a pretty cool fight scene against them and Riot. Mark also got scared by one scene. <laughs> no, I didn't. Which one then? Where is he? Where's Venom? Moving on. The looks and feels. I actually think the movie looked pretty darn great, if I do say so. It was pretty dark here and there and mysterious, but it blended in with the whole like. Venom being a scary character that he is, he needs to, like, you know, with Batman, he blends best into with the dark. But the city itself was pretty beautifully shot, and even the life and nature was pretty cool, it was pretty futuristic and stuff. And, I mean, it's, it just gave me great feels when I'm watching the movie. But you barely remember anything from it now, do you? I do. But my memory is what it is. Yep. Your memory is so bad. It's like in Goldfish. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Goldfish actually have way better memory than a lot of people actually would like to think. <laughs> That's even sadder then. Even a fish beats you on that. <laughs> May I tell them about your birthday? No, don't. Wow, you remember that, huh? Okay, here we go. So Mark's birthday was a while ago, and I wanted to give him something special. After all, I gave you something that you liked. I gave you a box of white chocolate. True. You gave me chocolate, but not the ones I like. Well, how was I supposed to know that? 
Mark, we live together, darling. You should know me at this point. Well, you didn't make it any easier, though, did you? It was funny, though. No, it wasn't. With what Mark gave me in mind, I gave him a gift certificate to a liposuction. <laughs> and you couldn't stop laughing for hours. Even when you weren't even visible and were just a figmation of my head. <laughs> okay, back to the review. The action. I really love the action scenes. Especially the chasing, huh? Of course! With that line, eyes, lungs, pancreas, so many snacks, so little time. <laughs> it gives me the feels. And then he shouts on a head. But I was disappointed at the lack of blood and head chopping. I don't disagree, but then again, we did at least get some head chopping, didn't we? And that we love. Besides the action, the scenes were really funny and actually well structured, at least in my opinion. Although it was pretty weird of when Venom reunites with Eddie in the forest, you remember? Eddie and she Venom kisses Eddie. That scene is pretty touching and powerful, if you ask me. Not only is Venom reunited with his host, but Eddie's reunited with his girl. And they kiss. Oh, I love it! The humor. The humor in the movie was pretty funny at some times, and although they were no masterworks, they were still pretty funny though. The only one that got a little bit way too far, a little bit over the top if I might say, was the one where uh, Eddie is in a restaurant and he wants to like prove to Annie uh, the, what they're doing in the Life Foundation after they find out. Um, I think the joke went a little bit too far. You think that's too much? Come on! You were way worse that one time when I wanted to party. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> Aww, he's so dumb when he tried to hide away from the truth. Don't worry, I won't tell him. <sighs> Thank you. But it basically involves him, booze, a spandex suit, some cans of spray string, I'm falling asleep in a very inappropriate place. <laughs> Why can you never be quiet? The ending. The movie ends with a classic line from the trailer that I think we all remember. We will eat both your arms and then both of your legs and then we will eat your face right up your head. You will be this armless, legless, faceless thing, won't you? Rolling down the street like a turd in the wind. <laughs> Classic Venom. You know, that line, switch it around a bit, it works for you, Mark. Okay, how would you put it? With the bottle looks you have, you don't need to be a turd to roll. Just a little push will do its work. <laughs> also the classic line, we are Venom, is in it as well. But it's slightly different from the trailers. And what would a Marvel movie be without his end credit screen? Where they tease the next upcoming symbiote, Carnage. Can't wait! What in hell? So Vendetta, what is your final thoughts on the movie? I loved it. And you did as well. We loved it. Although, I wanted to see more. I can agree. The movie felt like it was missing part of the story here there, like it was a little bit cut to make more of a, a shorter version. But I think it would have been a lot nicer to just have that extra cut, you know? But I think as being for a lot of us that what we got was pretty satisfying to see. Yeah, we gave the Venom standalone movie 8 out of 10. And we can't wait to see its sequel. And we wanted to somehow connect with Tom Spider-Man Holland as well. Wow, nice score, Vendetta. And I agree. There should definitely be some sort of connection between either Tom Holland Spider-Man in one way, or it should connect to just a Spider-Man. I mean, it's Venom, and Venom can't be Venom forever. He needs Spider-Man at some point, I think. Can I just say? Sure, go ahead. It might seem like I'm a bad and make ridiculous things to my host here, but I still like him. He provides me with what I could ask for. Food, a roof over my head, and a comfy place to live in. Just love to mess with him, okay? 
and you give me someone to be social with. Some cool superpowers, a very big appetite, <laughs> and someone I can relate to. And if you don't, admit that you used to be a loser like me, though. I agree. I used to be a loser. But you still are, though. <laughs> Life is hard sometimes. No, you are hard sometimes. Hard to hate, dummy. <laughs> nice save. Well, thank you. Anyway, that's gonna be all for us for today. You anything you wanna add, Vendetta? I hope to make more fun of, out of you in the future, and I hope it didn't scare anyone. Don't worry, you're not scary. You're just my friendly little parasite. Hey! <laughs> we hope to see you in the next video. Wait, we? Oui. I, I, I mean, I hope to see you in the next video that I make. And for now, have a good night. Bye bye. Alright, let's make one thing clear, alright? And what would that be? That is to never, ever give me that sort of voice again, okay? I mean, let's be real. It was a pretty ridiculous voice that you gave me. I wanted to be 100% me and only me. Understood? Can we agree on that? Can we agree on that? Sure. Good, 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 good. You suck at editing. <laughs>